methods, methods of elimination. A great deal of perimeters. We use, during our class, we use the simplest one. Uh, a sort of dynamic perimeter. Uh, perimeter f first uh, perimeter. Uh, it's a black arc with a point mm -hmm. of fixation in the center with a chin rest and uh, with a stick white point. White point, which will move from the periphery towards the center and ask the patient to recognize the moment when he will see the mm -hmm. periphery no, when he will see the movement yeah. of the subject. All the time, the patient will look into the white point in the center, its point of fixation. Mm -hmm. He will see this uh, white point uh, with his peripheral vision. Not clear, but when he will see movement, he should say, yes, I see. Speed of the stick, about 2-3 centimeters per second, like this. Not like this, because in this case, you, you know, the patient's it. results will be very poor. Yeah? Uh, and not very small, like 2-3 cm per second. On the uh, side uh, surface, or in several perimeters here, of the arc, you'll see um, degrees. From the point of fixation, 10, 20, 30, until the 90 degrees. When the patient will say, yes, I see this white point, uh, according to the result, you see how many degrees, and put it on the screen. It will be the result. Uh, when you measure in 8 meridians, 8 will be enough. What does mean 8 main meridians? 8, eight main directions. So, uh, superior border, inferior border, two lateral borders, nasal and temporal, and four oblique. For example, superior temporal, inferior nasal, superior nasal, inferior temporal. Cool. Mm -hmm. okay. It doesn't matter from what direction of the arc you will start, it may be horizontal, meridian, maybe vertical, doesn't it? Uh, also, we check both eyes separately. Before you will examine, during the credit and for your practice, before you will start, you should uh, draw such a simple picture. Main meridians. Uh, Eight meridians, superior, inferior, then you should put letters T temporal and, and nasal, and try uh, eyes, ocular dexter, right eye, ocular mm. sinister, left eye. Now you are, no, it's the result of the previous book, okay. so uh, exclude them. So uh, now you are ready for the examination. Ask the patient to put his chin on the chin rest. This thing uh, should be under the examining eye. If we start with the right eye, position should be like this. If we examine the left eye, position should be like this. Mm -hmm. uh, with the help of this simple button, you can change the position of the in vertical position of the chin rest. Don't do it when the chin is here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not to damage the patient eye. Like this. Okay, put your chin here. Uh, yeah. This yeah. thing should be in the uh, inferior area. Yeah, but, but not to cover the people. Like this. Please, put your palm. It may be with the... Uh, special cover, or even when the problem is possible, cover your left side, like this. Now we are ready. Uh, during the credit and during the practical classes, uh, don't explain the examinator, the teacher, what are you doing. We'll see. You just uh, explain it to your patient. It looks like, think that you see this patient for the first time. So, you should explain. Uh, all the time of the examination, you should fix this white point. Mm -hmm. Don't move your eyes. Uh, with my uh, white stick, I'll move this white object towards the, from the periphery towards the center. At the moment when you will see it, of mm -hmm. this white object, second object, you should say, yes, or I see something like that. You see the movement or the white object? The white. You should see the white object. The white point. Uh -huh. Because, of course, you will see my hand somewhere here. You should fix this object, but see the movement of this white, small one. Okay. Uh, and one more thing. Uh, we check during this examination not only peripheral borders, but also the central borders. You remember about scotomas. Mm -hmm. Isolated defects inside the visual field. Maybe normal peripheral borders in several types of disorders. But scotomas inside. It will be, I mean, patient's answers will be like this. Some, somewhere here, yes, I see, but then somewhere here, disappear, disappear. then appear, well, appear, appear, appear again. It means this area is scotoma. Mm -hmm. And also on the, scheme, on the scheme, you can draw this scotoma and then suppose what does it mean. 
and you can see so the rate and the technique and so okay how are you left time and let's start so mm -hmm. like this and then we go slowly two three centimeters per second you can see don't stop I put my finger to to remember yes my memory is not as useful yes. <laughs> okay uh, well, about 57 we usually uh, 55 or 60 I mean it's not necessarily right 58 point Three, yes, no, about 60 because also we usually add several degrees because you understand that it will take time from the patient will see to the moment when he will say and you will stop. At this moment you move a bit. Yeah. So it was 60 degrees. It was superior border of the right eye. Agree? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. Again, again, no, 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 the same eye. The same eye. Do, don't remove mm -hmm. because we should check innate meridians. Cover your left eye. Mm -hmm. one, more, one more time, cover, cover because we. Uh, check all the visual film borders. You can see somewhere here is about 70. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No disappearance. No. no. 70 degrees in fear of border. Then we change uh, position of the arc in the horizontal meridian and also continue. You see, uh, don't forget, you see my position opposite the patient. Mm -hmm. I can control his fixation. Mm -hmm. If the patient, several patients, especially old patient, they, or even child, for example, they try to sometimes to show results better than they really have. They begin to move their eyes, mm -hmm. try to find, mm -hmm. they wait mm -hmm. the movement of their object, and of course the result will be wrong. For example, patient really have constriction of the visual field, but if he will move, turn his eyes, of course, he will see the object even earlier than the normal eye. So, we, during the examination, your position uh -huh, opposite the patient, and you control the fixation. So 50 degrees, mm -hmm. it's a uh, temporal or nasal? Nasal. No, temporal. Nasal. 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 If we talk about this side, mm -hmm. for the right eye, this side is nasal, this side is temporal. Mm -hmm. But for those eye, or for that eye, for left eye, this side will be temporal, no and this, this will be nasal. nasal. Okay. Be so, uh, na nasally, 50 degrees. Now, let's continue. You can see, about 80 degrees. Temporal, yeah. And now oblique meridians. Mm -hmm. This border will be superior mm -hmm. nasal. Superior nasal. So inferior. somewhere here I should put yes. Mm -hmm. This border inferior temporal, temporal here. And then here superior inferior. temporal inferior. inferior nasal. No, it's clear I think. So mm -hmm. it's yes. you will examine each other. It will be time for you tomorrow to examine each other. So uh, after that, when you finish with all eight meridians mm -hmm. for one eye. Uh, you may compare with the normal results from your book, you know them, and make a conclusion. Normal or any changes. Uh, conclusion in case of this practical skill, given the case of the visual field of the right eye is normal. Doctor, if like there is a, a change, then you should say on the like nasal, nasal transverse, then you should say according to this or what? No, if you find any changes, you should describe them. For so, example, constriction of the visual field in the superior Nasal yeah, okay. So, when do we find this uh, central parasitic uh, you know, when do we find them? 